Also, that's been a wonderful city, walking around, seeing very exciting places. A city that's almost a thousand years old is very interesting to me as a historian, and been to the castle, been to the museums, and you will see that uh, scholarship is not only burying your head in the books, but also having a feel of the phenomena that has to do with education. <laughs> My name is Tunde Decker. I'm here in Oxford via the Oxford Travel Grant. And I've been here now for eight weeks. My research has to do with the way and manner the poor think. Very often people write about the way the poor act, what they do on the streets. But the, there's often the neglect in that area that has to do with the way the poor think. Although some, there, there has been some, some write-ups on that, but I'm very much interested in the way the poor think, especially with regards to colonial Lagos. I'm here in Oxford to further my research on the thought processes of the poor. Currently, I'm in collaboration with Professor Wale Adibangwe, the Oxford uh, Rhodes Professor of Race Relations. And uh, we're here together. He's, um, he's been a mentor and I've been working on materials that has to do with uh, colonial documents. I've had, uh, I've seen pictures that had to do with the social lifestyle of people in Lagos from the 1920s. And I've been very excited to, to find the pictures that had to do with servants, domestic servants especially, those that take care of horses, those that take care of the household, and even seeing the pictures alone gives you a very strong impression on how life was in Nigeria between 1900 and 1920s. And it's very exciting. You know, when you get, ac when you get access to such documents, pictures themselves speak a lot about what life has to do in Lagos at that period. And it's been very exciting, really. I've been to the Western, Western Library and I've been to the Social Science Library as well as the African Studies Center Library. And there has been wonderful facilities, resources that some say actually can't be found anywhere else in the world. Although I have been in archives in Kew and uh, in Ibado in Nigeria, the resources here are immense and very exciting indeed. Eight weeks has been wonderful for me. In the past eight weeks, I've, up till this morning, I've gathered close to 4,000 pages of archival materials, and um, I've delivered a paper at the University of Cambridge, uh, one of the papers that has to do with my research. I've met people, I've broadened my network, I've met uh, new mentors, and it's been wonderful for me. I've attended seminars, I've been enlightened on issues that had to do with pedagogy, and Professor Wale Adebanwe, who I'm collaborating with, has been an exciting mentor. Oxford has been an inspiring city and a university. No wonder it's uh, considered the best in the world. I've met wonderful people, interesting personalities, attended uh, conferences and events that, had, that really shaped my conceptual viewpoints and that has been very interesting indeed. And uh, Oxford is, is a place that a researcher should be. The Afox Travel Grant you know, gives you a, a very interesting opportunity to develop your person, to develop your research, to develop your network, to widen, to broaden your horizon, and to, and to make sure, and for you, to make sure that the mentoring and the network you have built in the past eight weeks or thereabout, that anyone will be here to build on it. Building on the mentoring and the network is very essential. And Oxford has provided all that opportunity for me. Uh, in the past eight weeks, I've also had the opportunity to write two papers, the first draft, I mean, and to write a third one. And I intend, when I go back to Nigeria, 
to build on those papers, to write more. Two out of the papers I've written are currently with my mentors, and they are working on it. And the first day to see how to be wonderful pub for publication. I intend to build the network I have built, already to expand it, and to continue with the relationship. Already, I have met professors that are willing and excited to work with me. And uh, in the next one year, I believe that um, so much will have been achieved as a result of the experience I've had.